Call us on your cell phone. Culinary Hotline Bling. That can only mean one thing. Uh, culinary Hotline. Have you ever been to those church services where they like get. Ah, I'm a ton ton, I'm a ton ton, I'm a ton ton. Listen, 083-913-3728, give us a call. It's the culinary hotline, bling, ting, ting, ting. On El Portrito and Zola Nena in the house, ladies. Thank you very much for being here. It's like, it's like I blinked from last week and then boom, we, here we are again. Oui? Can you believe it? <laughs> All right, uh, and listen, um, so we got a lot of questions about turkey and turkey uh, drumsticks and, and wings. wings and so on. So we thought we'd make today's topic about turkey. Let's, let's. Which is what we have in front of us. Let's. You said you, you had a very uh, fond memory of turkeys as a child. <laughs> no, I didn't. My grandfather had a turkey. It was massive and it used to terrorize us. Is it? it used to like chase us in the, at, the, <laughs> at the farm and we'd cry. And it was taller than us because it, no it was <laughs> no, massive, <laughs> massive. And if it got you, it wouldn't just let you go, it would pick you. <laughs> like, it was mean. Oh, wow. And then we ate it. No, no. <laughs> The end. So we won. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, so, uh, ladies, uh, Zola and Alp, how do we cook uh, turkey drumsticks? They're much bigger than a, than a chicken drumstick. Yes, so like, much you can just show the size difference. The difference yeah, is huge. The difference. So they need to be in the oven much longer. So they need to be treated differently. Yeah. So what we've done here today is, just, is, a, is a bit of chicken stock, mm -hmm. bay leaf, a bit of thyme, and we've just added the chicken, uh, the, chicken <laughs> the turkey legs. Yeah. And you bake that in the oven for about an hour and a half. But you can also put like carrots and celery at the bottom as well. Absolutely. You know, now an hour and a half an to hour bake. And a half, yeah. Yeah. And Covered? Uh, you can cover it or you can just leave it sort of sitting in the stock, stock. that's fine yeah. too. Yeah. It'll braise. Yeah, and then you make like a glaze. Mm -hmm. We've got a bit of mustard here. Dijon mustard, normal mustard, doesn't matter? Yeah, yeah. You could use any, okay. whole grain yeah. if you like, or even English if you like. Okay, lovely. Yeah. yeah. And a bit of chili pepper, or what do you call cayenne pepper? Cayenne, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bit of Worcester sauce, and a bit of maple syrup. Okay. And then after the hour and a half, you just Mix and then this you, thoroughly. You take some of the juices that you use to, to cook yeah. it in. Okay. Just add it in there. So that, those juices are just from the stock from and... From the stock and the turkey. Yeah. The turkey itself. Oh, yeah. this looks delicious. Yeah. And if you were doing turkey wings, you could do it exactly the same way. You'd cook them for about an hour less. Mm. Yes. So you only need to roast them for 30 minutes as opposed to an hour and a half. And then you glaze them for 30 minutes. Whereas this you cook for an hour and a half. Yes. And then you glaze them and cook them for 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah, so you glaze this. Yeah. Okay. Like that, and then you cook it for another half an hour to 40 hour. minutes. Yeah. yeah. And that'll obviously uh, allow the glaze to kind of thicken, as you can see it, you know, covering. And it caramelize. And exactly. you want to baste the legs every 10 or, or 5 or 10 minutes. Mm. Oh, just so everything sort of, yeah. Everything sticks. And so, like, for, for one, like one of these, I can think and feed three people. Do you think? No, only one <laughs> man. Only uh, one person. <laughs> what I are you can talking about? One. <laughs> but like, I think, like, if you could take that, like, because there's at least three, four portions yeah. of meat off on there. I don't know. I think maybe, maybe two people. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. Because you don't want to, you know. Be stingy to your friends. My concern is about because it's cooking for such a long time, mm. uh, it being dry. Um, right. How do you prevent that? Is well, it? because you're braising it and, and steaming mm. it uh, while you're roasting it, yes. that sort of maintains the moisture as well. And remember, it is a really big leg. So, yeah, it, it cooks for a long time. Okay. Yeah. okay. And, the, and the leg is not supposed to be so dry than the other part right, of the turkey. You know, the breast, it's brown meat. Mm -hmm. And if it's a bit dry, use this delicious sauce. Mm. Oh, just get it yeah. in there, get it yeah. in there. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, what was the turkey's name, Zola? <gasps> Did, oh, it, no, did it, it have a name? It didn't have a name. Yeah. But did, did <laughs> we it just taste screamed. good at the end of the day? It didn't taste good. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine a young Zola? <laughs> Man, I want to write that scene. Uh, but listen, we're going to keep our lines open. 083-9133-728. The culinary hotline bling. Ting, ting, ting. We'll be right back.